So do you actually have a bunch of problems or do you just have bad habits? I made a video about this not too long ago, but I wanted to touch on it again. My um, 90 year old grandma, who's been very much a teacher to me, who's very awake and into this stuff, so to speak, you know, when I was really in the thick of it, going through it on this path and what, you know, some would call the free fall, right? You hit the sort of, as Jed McKenna says, the sort of event horizon of, okay, we're doing this. And then it's just free fall into, you know, singularity, as he would say, until you just hit the point where you're like, oh, you know, got it. You come back around, whatever. These words are dumb because you're trying to describe something that can't really be described. Plus, there are subjective elements to it for each person. But she made a comment about, you know, a lot of this stuff, once you hit a certain point, once you strip away enough of the layers, a lot of it ends up just coming down to habit. So you do all these esoteric and kind of mystical things. You have experiences. You realize there's something more out there, et cetera, et cetera. But then you come back around to center and it's like, oh, so now that I know the truth, this is just habit. Like I'm dealing essentially with habit. I, I had times during this process where everything was essentially stripped away, perfect, or at least I thought it was. I just felt myself in almost not, you know, pure euphoria or anything, but just kind of a, you know, almost like I created so much space between what I thought was me, quote unquote, for so many years that I essentially thought I made it and then something would happen and I wouldn't be triggered, we'll say consciously. I would just be standing there feeling like I was having a semi panic attack, but I wasn't really thinking about much. I'm bringing this up because it was essentially like a subconscious thing. It was a habit. It was something that had run for so long that I had to you know, sit down and do the math and say, hey, this might not be such an esoteric, you know, going through it. And this is another layer of the ego. It may more or less just be, and you could define it any way you want, but it may more or less just be something that I've done for 30 plus years. And then all of a sudden I wipe the slate clean and say, we're starting over. And there's still elements of that in the, you know, what I like to call sort of biological survival system. Like there are things, you know, if you read about somatic stuff and trauma like that, the body, well, actually that famous book, right? The body does keep the score. There's something in the body and it's not against us, but from a survival perspective is like, I'm going to hit you with this. We've been in this position before for 30 years. It wasn't good. I know you're doing all this work, Jason, but remember, remember, and then boom, you have these attacks or you have these physical things or whatever. So, you know, it's something to think about that if, you know, you've done a lot of work and maybe you're frustrated on this path, maybe take a step back and actually think to yourself, you know, maybe you just have some habits. Maybe the only thing you really need to do is stop, take a moment, use the things that you've learned and say, man, I've just been doing this for a long time. Like I've, I've been doing what we'll call the wrong thing or what doesn't work for you for a long time. So it's going to take some time to get through that. You know, there's authors that I've read, the good ones that will say, you know, you wake up, you go through this process, but there's like a reorientation period. You sort of pop out of the program, pop out of the stuff that you've been doing that doesn't work, but then you still got to, you know, come back and sort of have your, you know, peace on the board as the guy David, David Parrish says, he's on YouTube, you look him up, he's got a lot of good videos. And he's like, you know, the body is your peace on the board. You could deny the body like some of these disciplines do and it doesn't mean, well, you have one and it's on the board. Like, you want to be here, you want to live this, which is what we're meant to do. That's why we're here. That's your piece on the board. So, you know, at some point, that body is going to speak up and it's going to say, hey, you're doing all this esoteric, woo woo, mental, you know, ego destruction and program destruction stuff. But I'm here. I live here. I'm connected to this earth, the body. And I'm telling you that I think there might be a threat. 
So you just have to be aware and basically say there is no threat and go through it. You know, you, there will be times where there is no trick. There is no hack. There is no thing to do besides sit in it. And I've had those times like feel like a panic attack or uh, physical pains or whatever, where you actually have to stop and go, okay, this is supposed to happen. This is a survival process that has been running for millennia and it's been running for me for decades. So let me watch it. Let me have it play out and see where it goes. So again, which could be defined as basically a habit. So contemplate that, you know, if you're far enough along, even if you're not, just think to yourself like, is this a habit, meaning something I've just done for a long time and now I'm not going to do it? Or is it actually, you know, some big esoteric problem that you haven't worked out? Maybe you have worked it out. That's my point. These little physical things can happen for a little while after you start destroying the program. So just take a look, see what you find.